people, it's your girl. I'm still Asia, baby. Cause every time I close my eyes, I see you. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome, okay? Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl, okay? As y'all can see from the thumbnails, y'all, today, I'm getting into something a smidge different kind of y'all. I've been kind of jumping into these whole scammer videos lately. <laughs> for some reason, I just been on that for some reason because they're just fun to watch. And I think, you know, they do need to be exposed. I'm glad that there are people out there like that that are doing what they do to stop this foolishness, okay? Because they take advantage of like our grandparents, our mamas and our daddies and our sisters and our brothers hell and if I if if they haven't take advantage of us, okay? Cuz I know one time y'all, it happened to me and I almost actually <laughs> I ended up giving these idiots access to my computer, but then after that, like my computer never worked the same after that. Literally I had all these viruses and all this stuff, but none of my stuff got stolen like none of my I like information, credit cards, none of I had no issues with that. It was just like after that happened though, I had all these viruses and all this stuff pop up on my computer, y'all. And it just went from good to hell. Okay. Just <laughs> I had to throw the computer, like literally get rid of it because it wasn't the same after they did that. So now that I'm like on to stuff like this and they and they be doing this kind of stuff, I'm like, yeah. Cause I need to know what's happening. The next time one of these fools calls, I'ma be ready. Okay, in my home alone voice. I don't, <laughs> I don't care in my home alone in my home alone voice, okay? The next time these fools want to come around and mess with me, I'll be ready, okay? <laughs> that shit, okay? <laughs> I'm a mess. So I got to give a shout out to Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Jamie got a cute little picture on here. Hey, Jamie. Okay, I see you with your little bunny ears and stuff, girl. You was cute, okay? Uh... <laughs> Unless Jamie has a picture of his girlfriend up there. So, sorry, Jamie, if that's not you. <laughs> it says, Jim Browning is a legit UK government dude in some way. We will never know because he can't exactly give away his identity or what programs he uses. But the programs he has give him the most insane access. And he's so thorough and man his videos are just great okay she said you gotta check him out so i pulled him up y'all they have some really good content on their channel the name of their channel is uh hold on let me see the name of the channel is okay jim browning is is the name uh j-i-m-b-r-o-w-n-i-n-g so if y'all want to check him out i'll be sure to link the original video down in the description y'all want to check out their channel y'all i this is literally the very first video that i have looked at of theirs so i don't know what type of content they have but if it's anything like what i've been looking at jim brown and he go here okay <laughs> okay and i'm here for it so uh i ain't finna keep this video long y'all this video is long enough so go on and get your popcorn ready and let's go on and get into this video y'all Oh, these videos be tripping me out. I know. I hope this man not finna make me mad with these people today. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it, Jim. Okay? <laughs> but we about to see, so. Let's jump into it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. All right. This building in southwest Delhi holds a dark secret. The building houses Fairmart Travels, an innocent sounding travel agency, except that it's just a front for a scamming business. Oh. And to the rear of the building, in a secret office, there's a room full of scammers. And incredibly, oh. I've been able to see exactly what they do through their own CCTV. <laughs> yes, sir, I can. Yeah, I'm still there. Yep. So hey, yeah, that's creepy. His voice sounds creepy. I don't know, Jim. I don't want to be on Jim's bad side, y'all. Ain't no telling what Jim might see up in my house on my CCTV. Hold up, Jim. Shit. What? <laughs> what else you got access to? Oh, you're lying what? about that. Are you? What? What's going on here? What's going on? Hello. Allow me one minute, sir. I'm just checking that for you. Okay. Yeah. Please stay on the line. So wait. wait hello. 
This scammer calls himself Mark Robinson, but his real name is Tune. And yes, I'm watching him live on his Hello? own CCTV. Hello? Hi. Yes, sir. Yeah, so what's all this about Hi. stopped services then when they should be running? I don't get it. Yeah, sir. Sir, you need to go ahead and get it fixed, and there will be a one-time charge, sir, okay? So, hold on. Why would you charge me when there's nothing wrong? That's quite normal. <laughs> right, right, Jim. Get him. No, there are certain technical things that has to be fixed. Technical things. Go on, try me. I'm quite technical. <laughs> oh, sorry. Y'all see, y'all see how they just take the shit as a game, man? He playing. He playing. He ain't even taking it serious. Okay, Jim, for real, and he on here laughing with the friend next to him. He ain't even halfway paying him attention because he don't know yet. He don't know who he on the phone with. You don't, you don't got the right one today. Try me. I'm quite technical. <laughs> oh, sorry, sir, but there will be a charge if you want. We can fix it. But, or if you don't want, I can go out of your computer. No problem. No, I just want to know what's wrong. I mean, you're a technician, so tell me what's wrong. Sir, well, I'm just a junior level technician. We need to assign the case to the senior level technician. You're about to see one of the most comprehensive views of the inner workings of one of these scam call centers ever seen on YouTube. Critical alert from Michael. But let's start at the beginning. How exactly did I find out that Fairmark Travels were behind this pop-up scam? Like most scammers, they buy fake and malicious adverts. These adverts claim that your computer has a virus and it will lock your PC in a way that it almost forces you to ring the number which is shown on screen. And it's not possible just to close this window. On top of this, a That is what happened to my computer. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't click off of nothing. I couldn't hit nothing. I couldn't X out of it, y'all. That's exact... What the hell? And it's not possible just to close this window. On top of this, a very loud warning will play in the background. Security message. Your computer has been locked up. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent to visit websites that contains identity theft virus. If you've not encountered anything like this before, you can see how it's possible that some people will phone the number in the hope that they can get rid of what looks like a virus. Of course, there's nothing wrong at all. It's all just to encourage the phone call. And if you watch my channel at all, you'll know that I deliberately phone these numbers. I have my PC set up in a way that if they attempt to scam me, and they usually run a very set script, I will reverse this connection and gain access to the scammer's PC. So when they did try to steal money from me, they described their organisation as iTech Securities. This would turn out to be one of many aliases which Fairmont Travels will use. And the method they used to take these payments was through PayPal, something that would allow me to trace the scam payments right back to the managing director. Wow. And when I gained this reverse access, the thing that was immediately apparent was that they had CCTV. This would provide a fascinating insight as to how their operation worked and what the layout of the building was. Wow. This would prove very useful for identifying who they were. Wow. On the basement floors, there were several rooms, a kitchen and a canteen. The CCTV around the main gates of the building showed that there were guards present. This isn't unusual in certain large buildings in Delhi, but it did show exactly what the road and surroundings looked like. Watching people walk around the place, I got a good sense for the layout of the building. This person, for example, is walking around the first floor and this is to the rear of the premises. But most of the cameras indicated that this was a proper office building. There were lots of people working on desks with computers, and certainly in the main building, on floors one to three, it didn't seem to be that there were any scammers present. These were real workers doing real jobs in probably a real travel agency. But there were another two floors which were covered by CCTV which didn't seem to have anything to do with the main office building. There was one of these floors where I was certain that the scammers were present in one room. So I needed a bit of help. 
Someone who could photograph the outside of the call centre and try and find out where the second building was. So I called on my friend, Carl Rock. Like me, Carl exposes scams in India and I urge you to check out his channel. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a link to his version. Wait a minute, even to say that y'all, I'm just like the fact that this man did all of this reverse, whatever he reversed, put in his PayPal information in some kind of way, was able to get access to the CCTVs at this building. <laughs> I don't know y'all, I don't know, I don't know what y'all done signed me up for, okay? He got me scared. <laughs> to check out his channel. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a link to his version of this video. And after Carl shot this footage, I noticed that there was something that appeared on one of the CCTV cameras. From the CCTV, I could see that there was a roof garden right outside the room that the scammers operated in. And lo and behold, right behind the Fairmart building was another building with a roof garden. Fairmart had only recently installed CCTV and it was during that installation process that the camera was briefly fixed on that roof garden. Eventually, the camera would be turned round to a static position in front of the offices where the scamming took place. So Carl, very kindly, took a second lot of drone shots of the building behind Fairmart. This is where their scams operated from. This is one of the cleverest but sneakiest ways of disguising the fact that you're a scamming group. If the police ever did raid the main building, they would only find legitimate computers and legitimate offices. And I could see that it was the alleyway between the two buildings that was being used by scammers to move between the legitimate and illegal offices. The people who were employed to run the scams Man, didn't even... Man, when I say you intel, y'all, he is intelligently trained uh, to a T. Very okay. I can't even elaborate on that. I cannot even elaborate, but just but there's certain things that I'm just picking up on y'all that he's saying that he's talking about, and I'm just like, he is very, very intelligently trained. Okay, offices <laughs> the people who were employed to run the scams didn't even need to use the front door of the normal office. All very clever. But the CCTV didn't have any audio, but I could see them using remote access software. Here, this scammer is using GoToAssist and even sometimes the pop-up which would appear on their victims' PCs. But although their CCTV didn't record any audio, they happen to record audio on a different system called Ringba. This is their VoIP provider, which allowed them to use UK and US phone numbers, but it had the advantage where every phone call they received was recorded. You would have good reason to wonder why a travel company would run a campaign called USA Blue Screen of Death or UK Adult. <laughs> and because they- Yeah, Blue Screen of Death, y'all. If y'all don't know, that's the screen that when the blue screen come up on your screen, you cut your computer and you got a blue screen, a straight blue screen, it's done. Fried. Throw it in the trash. There's a waste. There's, you're not, it's, nothing else is going to happen after that, y'all. That's what that is. USA blue screen of death or UK adult. <laughs> and because they recorded all of their calls, I could listen in on some of them. We're calling support. My name is Alwyn. How can I help you today? Um, I just got an important security message. I'm making it says my computer's being shut down. What were you doing on the computer when you got this message? Can you lower down the volume of your computer? So since I had all of their audio files, all I needed to do was take the timestamps of the audio and match them to the timestamps of video. This would allow me to see other people being scammed. Please call our support immediately. Thanks for your call. They're speaking with Luke. Can we help you? Hi. I was just trying to watch movies on my computer and it's telling me it's locked and I have to call security. Okay. And what were you trying to do on this computer? I'm watching movies. Is this your personal computer or it's a family computer? 
It's a work computer. It's work computer, okay. So, you, do you have any IT guy? Sorry? Do you have any IT guy in your work, in your office? No, I'm at home now. It's, I brought okay. my work laptop home. <laughs> he don't even know what to tell her, okay? Call your IT. Fool, you did it. I brought okay. my work laptop home. Okay, because there will be a one-time charge if we fix something online today for you. If there's any software issues, there will be a one-time charge. So, will that fine for you? Are you the authorized for that? Well, why would my computer be locked in the first place? I was just watching movies. There would be some viruses which download from that online movies website. Oh. Yes. So, I have to so check the computer and... But, I have to check the computer and according to that there would be a one time charge that would be the diagnosed charge and if there is any other issue What kind of damn charge is a diagnosed charge? What kind of shit is that? I'm <laughs> y'all come on man Time charge that would be the diagnosed charge and if there is any other issues they will be charged according to that And how much is this budget? Uh, the minimum which is diagnosed charge which is which will cost you around 50 pounds and if I don't have 50 pounds to pay then you can take this computer to local store or a local technician yeah. all right thank you okay no problem. And because I could see what the supervisor was monitoring, I could also see the scammers' names. The green colour meant that someone was engaged in a call with a victim, and the orange colour indicated that a person was waiting on a call. And, depending on the day and the time, there could be anything from just two agents to 22 on the floor. And when they answer their phone, they would of course never give their real name. They would always give a fake English-sounding one. So I thought I would phone them up and try and work out which name they would use and see the faces on the CCTV. Uh, but I'm hoping I can reach that guy, whatever his name is. Wow. Uh oh. Oh, he done called him straight up. <laughs> Idiot. For calling support, this is Jerry. How may I help you? So this guy called himself Jerry. But of course, when the office was busier, it was much harder to work out who I was speaking to, so I needed another tactic. I would deliberately change my desktop background to something really obvious. Now type help me all in one word. Help me. And then allow one of their scammers to connect to my PC. And once the scammer had remote access to my computer, I'd simply use their CCTV to see who was looking at the monitor with the purple screen. You need to leave the control of your mouse, sir. I'm successfully connected with you. You can see my cursor moving on the computer screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Right. Okay. Right. So, so you do not have to worry about anything, sir. You're talking to Windows certified technician. So I'm just going to find out, first of, first of all, if anything's wrong on the computer system. So how long have you had this computer, sir? Like, how old is this computer? Uh, oh, I think, oh, it's only a year old or something. Okay, just sorry, a year old, sorry, right? Just who, so who, am I, just who am I talking to here? This is Chris Young, sir. I'm a Windows certified technician. <laughs> I think about that. This is Chris Young. Chris Young. Okay, how American. <laughs> and so now I knew what the person who called themselves Chris Young looked like. You might be using... I'm sorry? Is this Microsoft? No, sir, I'm... 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 It has nothing to do. It has nothing to do with the Microsoft. It's a Windows support. I believe you are using a Windows computer. Unfortunately, some of the CCTV cameras were set up worse than others, and when I switched to the like of Camera Five, it gave a bit of a distorted and black and white view, but it was still enough to see who I was speaking to. The exact problem going on on the computer system, okay. right? Yeah. So why, 
why you got the number on the computer screen is sir because when you first bought the computer the securities of this computer was registered but the camera was more than good enough to watch the scammers squirm whenever they were challenged i hope you're i hope you're not breaching microsoft's copyright here because if you put a window up saying microsoft at the top okay, you're not okay. microsoft you can that with what you can do sir what you can do what, well, what I, do you want to do? What do you well, I don't do know. Do? I think if I should be you going think to. I'm breaching your security system. No, I think you're impersonating Microsoft, and I think you're you want to trying to scam people. That's what I think is going on here. <laughs> Get him, Jim. Get him. Okay. Yeah. You're what do you want to trying to scam people. That's what I think is going on here. Okay. So now you're in that part right now, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you, you've lied to me about what not stopped showing. I'm going to show you all the services, sir. So the, the services should be stopped, I'm as you well know. I'm going to show you know. all the services, everything. Yeah, this, some of them should be started. I'm sorry? Some of them should be running. And some of them should be stopped because they're, they're, they should be started manually. So what are you going to show me here? <laughs> I'm not going to show you anything, sir. Uh... You can, this is your computer. You can do whatever you want. Is there anything else you want to ask? Anything else you... You have any doubt? Yeah, I want to know why you scam people. Well, why is it? But there are hundreds of victims of this crime, and I want to do something about it. Oh my gosh, y'all. When I tell you, it's almost like I'm reliving that day that I was on the phone with them, almost to a T. The only difference is, is that I, I couldn't sit there and tell him what it was that he was doing, and I wasn't looking at him. But it's almost like he's saying damn near the exact same thing that he was saying to me. Yeah. But there are hundreds of victims of this crime and I want to do something about it. So for the first time ever, I've shared this footage with a UK documentary team called Panorama. That team were able to travel to India to confront the owner of this call center and I've left a link to their video in the description below. <laughs> By sharing the footage, I'm hoping that more people can be made aware of these scams and hopefully some will be prevented. Yeah. If you're a patron of mine, you can already see the first three parts of this video on Blurred. But for the public YouTube videos, I have to blur some of the details to meet YouTube's privacy policies. In part two of this four-part video series, you're going to see what these scammers do every day. How their shifts work, how they get paid, how they get to and from their offices, and if they're really trusted. And in part three, we're going to follow the money. It's not the call center workers who make most of the money, so exactly where does it go? Who's the brains behind the organization, and is it just one type of scam that they're involved with? Wow. Find out in part three. These videos on YouTube will always be free. However, if you would like to support me in my efforts against scammers, here is a link to my Patreon channel. There you can see exclusive content and unblurred versions. Catch me on Twitter at Jim Browning 11 and again, thanks for watching. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I gotta get into all the parts, y'all. I gotta get into all the parts. This was just one of four, so I guess if y'all want me to, y'all let me know down in the comment section if y'all want me to do all four parts to this. Like, there are four but i wonder if they're like long i didn't even look y'all i did see because he put one part part one of four on here when i initially did this but y'all let me know if y'all want to see some more jim brown and, and shout out to the connection okay shout out to the plug like i said before y'all uh hey jamie okay <laughs> so if y'all enjoyed this video be sure you give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.